What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Sean. We're back with another video. Today, we're going to be doing another hit or miss. If we're going to be doing, as I dubbed, one of the best Spider Man statues ever, it's one of my favorites. It's going to be the, the Miles Morales Spider Man premium format by Sideshow. But before we get into this hit and miss and do this review, make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe and comment on these videos specifically because we're going to be doing a giveaway at a thousand subscribers. You want to make sure that you're entering to win the new gift that's going to be um, gifted whenever we get to a thousand subscribers. And how you do that is you have to be number one, subscribe. And number two, you have to comment on these videos because what we're going to do is we're going to use a comment picker and they're going to pick a random person based on the comments that are selected um and you have to you know if you the more you comment the more interest you get so you know what i'm saying get the comments going let's get the conversation going but now let's get into this miles morales spider-man and as you all may know let's just get into it So if you all don't know already, Sideshow just restocked the Miles Morales Spider-Man that came out, I think it was March or May of last year, of 2019. And I thought it was weird, like a few days ago, I was like, man, they just restocked this. This is so weird. Like, I don't know why they did that. And then yesterday I watched the PS5 reveal and one of the first games they reveal is the new Spider-Man Miles Morales game. And I'm like, okay. Sideshow is slick. They knew what they were doing, right? They they talked to Sony, blah, 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 right? But, I mean, I'm happy for it because, like I said, this is one of the, one of my favorite Spider-Mans. Usually whenever I see a Spider-Man statue, I like it. I, most of the time I like it, but um, what I don't like, normally what I don't like about it is Spider-Man doing some weird acrobatic stance that just doesn't look realistic or it looks like he's doing too much. Um... And it just throws me off. It makes me not not like it like that. And now when I'm talking about statues, I'm talking about just literally like actual statues, not the bus. Because I've seen some really good Spider-Man bus. Um, but as as it goes for this this statue right here, I really think this statue is a is a hit. It is a absolute beauty. Um, reason being is because um, number one, I just love how he looks. Um, his suit. It just looks absolutely phenomenal. Now, what I like about it is, number one, I love how they, um, you know, usually whenever they have a Spider-Man suit, they don't normally define his muscles all like that. Um, sometimes they do, but um, sometimes it's like over the top. Um, like they, they give him like a, a 30 pack. Uh, his muscles are just bulging out and it just looks, either it looks it's a little too much or it's not enough, right? But here they kind of got the the definition right for me like I love how you know you can see a little bit of definition in his calf muscles you can see a little bit in his forearms like in his um his biceps and triceps um you can see a little bit in his, in his thighs it, you know it, it you know it just looks natural it doesn't look like they over extenuated that he's a superhero and he has all types of muscles so that was one thing that I really liked the second thing I really liked about this is just um normally whenever I see Spider-Man statues I don't like the comic book style where his eyes cover like all of his mask like his white eyes is like this much of his mask i literally hate that that's just my opinion now for this one they did it really really well i mean good proportion the face the face scope looks good um i love the colors the black on the red is a little bit of a darker um you know um more uh more deep red i think i i really i think they nailed it um i love the emblem on the back it looks really great and now on to the bass. The bass is my favorite part. You know, I am a sucker for a bass. If the bass is playing, it throws the whole statue off for me. This bass, he's jumping over a venom, um, like a venom creature, and I really love it. Um, I love how the entire bass is this venom creature. Normally, you'll get like a bass where he's jumping over a building and like venom is a part of it, and now it's like kind of weird. But um, this, I mean, I really like it. This is not conventional. This is normally how, not how it, you know, spaces go. But I mean, I feel like they nailed it. And I may be biased, but hey, whatever. I, I really love how the tongue is coming out of the venom and starting to wrap around mouths. Um, it just works really well for me. Um, favorite part about this, this spider suit though is his fingers. I love how his fingers look. That black on red, it just really talks to me. I really love it. 
Um, now, my favorite part of my favorite, you know, piece of this this uh, the statue is going to be the exclusive uh, version where he has the mask off in his left hand. Um, I think that's the best one for me. I love, uh, you know, I wanted to see his face. Um, you know, after actually seeing his face, um, it, you know, it works for me. Um, I think that's my favorite, but they're sold out of that one right now. Um, I love how he's holding the mask, um, the normal, you know, Spider-Man mask. How it looks kind of like, um, I don't know the material, but it just looks like a real Spider-Man mask. Um, I think they totally nailed this. This looks absolutely great. Um, only thing I'll say about this statue, only thing I can critique about it is I wish it were bigger. It comes in at 17 inches, and I just wish that it was just bigger. I wish that, um, I think it should have been north of 20 inches, in my opinion. I think that's why, I think the reason why that's, that is is because I just really like the statue. That's just me. But um, outside of that, I mean, I literally have no complaints about this. I, I mean, it looks absolutely phenomenal. This is absolutely it um they actually tried to they you know they gave it a compliment uh piece uh, another spider-man statue i think it looks good with the compliment piece obviously the other spider-man statue is bigger um and i, and I wish that the spot the other spider-man statue was the same size as i mean the miles one was the same size as the other one i'll show a picture of that right now but um you know i i actually really like that other spider-man statue as well i think that's one of the better ones in my opinion as well um, he's not doing his like again. It goes back to his stance. He's not doing something super crazy and super weird in his um in his in his sculpt. So I really like that one. I like you know this this Miles Morales one. Um, I wish it were bigger, but um you know it, it really works. They did a great job. This is a 100% hit. Um and um let me know what you think. I mean if you have this, let me know if you have it and you know what do you think about it and how does it fit with the rest of your your statues. Let me know if you're going to be getting the new game that comes out later on this year. I think I'll be getting it. I'll 100% be getting PS5, so I will 100% be getting this Miles Morales game to support. And I may just get this statue as well. Um, I really want the exclusive version, but, I mean, I may have to just settle for the regular one. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. But, but before we do that, man, make sure you like. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you comment. Turn on your post notification bell. Um, hitting that like button, smashing that like button really helps with the algorithm, really helps my page. So if you could, please just leave a like. And until next time, y'all be safe, y'all be good, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.